color, luminosity. All of these different settings are going to um, uh, behave differently depending on the color you've chosen for your text and of course the colors on the background that you're applying it to. So there's uh, almost limitless uh, permutations to this stuff. So that's just kind of one thing. So I can go OK for example and I can just, I'm just going to bring this over here and now you see I can overlay this and I've got a nice transparency in through here so the green and the orange are playing off each other whereas if it was solid it just you wouldn't see that um, back in the day printers hated this kind of stuff now we've got the technology to actually deal with it so it is pretty cool so maybe I can bring this text over here and maybe I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger just to break it up and then I can go over here and I can go back to my transparency option and I can have the preview on so what multiply does and yeah, it's kind of cool and see See, it's interesting because you got the, uh, the the cyan plus the orange is going to give me a color close to the teal. This is how, how color color addition works. And you can mess with it. You can go through the screen, the overlay, and of course you can also mess with the opacity of this whole thing. So you you can get all kinds of crazy color combinations just by messing with the transparency itself. Um, so now we've taken some strange colors, mixed them together, and we get totally new colors. So that is an example of placing your image with a text wrap, um, sizing your image in there, and applying color to text. And, the, and, and that color, applying color, also stands for, uh, for applying color to boxes or shapes or any, anything else you want. Um, so finally, what we're going to do, I'm just going to go over here and clean this up a bit. I'm going to get rid of my layers. By layers, if you'll just go away. I'm going to get my text, get T for type tool, and I'm going to go in here and select this chunk of text. And then I'm going to select the T tool for to for types because I want to change this text. And right now it's set to black. Change it to white. Get rid of that. There, we're done. Beautiful. So that's what we have. So we covered a lot just making this little this little page layout. And I would probably go in and clean this stuff up too. But for now, that's all we need to do. Um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back soon.